previously on my last episode as I prepared for my first ever gallery solo show. This is gonna be canvas number, this is number six. I'm the lock and load, baby. Unfortunately, my time in the desert is up. I've been here for two weeks. I gotta go back to LA, back to the studio. I got a kickstart on this one. I'm gonna do like an archer coming through here on this part of the canvas here. It's gonna be kind of cool. And uh, I look forward to continuing this in the studio. See you there. Boom, yeah, here we go. Back in LA, yo, what's up? Kipto here. I'm at my workspace, about to crank out on this painting, keeping it going. I've already finished all the other paintings. It's been like a couple months since uh, I was in Joshua Tree. And so coming up down to the wire. So I'm trying to finish out as many paintings as I can. This is one of the last ones to get done. So I'm gonna be banging out this Archer guy right here. I took a photo of myself as like a reference for like the anatomy and the lighting to get the pose right, to get the lights and shadows correct. And so I took that photo and cut myself out, plopped it in there in Photoshop, drew in a new leg, added a bow, and then kind of colored it on top a little bit. So gives myself a good reference and that'll go a lot quicker this way. And uh, that's what I'm trying to do. It's gonna be fun. Join me and let's get going. to just lay down the strokes as they are, boom, lay down a stroke. I really admire artists and painters that can do that. Just boom, lay down strokes and leave it, not fiddle with it or fuss it. It works a little bit easier with oils. I'm using acrylics right now, but that's not really an excuse. I'm gonna keep going and try and do the best that I can and like have these clear value and color gradations and separations in my strokes and in my paint. So I'm trying to mix it well before I put it down on the canvas and get my color temperatures correct. Build up the anatomy in its forms it really pops off the canvas when you have clear defined strokes like that and uh, it just makes for a stronger piece, especially in person. It really like gives it some extra dimension to it. That's what I'm trying to emulate, what I'm trying to work with on this figure right here. night looking pretty snazzy so far this figure is coming out really cool eagle on top here I don't know I did this once and I kept doing it and I don't know it just seems kind of cool it's kind of like you know the eagle eye the eagle eye of the archer the, the bullseye eagle eye Whew, tough to explain when you're this tired keep on trucking gotta finish this keep it up let's, let's just keep on going you know what also helps me a lot? This. Five hours of relaxing psychedelic space rock. This stuff rocks to paint to. Underrated albums. There's a whole bunch of these on YouTube, but uh, this one's pretty rad. Also, bam, get your sticker packs. Kipto.com slash shop. You know where to find them. All right, 
right, after a quick 20 minute power nap and some eagle painting, I'm almost there. It's looking pretty snazzy. Just one final thing is like a yellow rope. And then in the morning, I'll do some spray dust effects and like add the flary stuff. Well, in a few hours, it's already the morning. It's uh, 4.52 a.m. Time to do a little splatter on this bad boy. We got like some dark blues, dark greens, purples, kind of tanny orange. Kind of want to push back his legs here. Some splatter here. I'm just like super lightly tapping down on this Neptune green. Also breaks up this kind of dark spot down here because it's some extra flavor and texture. This kind of dark turquoise. There we go. It's looking pretty cool. And it's important to get it on top too because you want this kind of depth that are coming in and out. So that's actually really lucky. I think that came out pretty nice. Those little blue dots there. Kind of looks like he's coming up through this mist or something. Okay, I don't want to go too overboard with it. I think this is the last little bit I'm going to do. Dangerous. I think that's good. Yeah. All right. Good work, team. Oh, man, I like this painting a lot. Really jazzed how this came out. It's like a really cool adaptation of my Miami piece that I did a couple years ago. Uh, I was a little nervous about how this guy was gonna come out because the bull head looked really cool like as is and I didn't want to like take away from that but uh, I think everything just accents each other and really kind of like blends into each other as this unified piece. All those colors kind of mesh into this flow and really digging it and like how the arrow crosses right over the eye right here. I think that's a really cool touch. Kind of accidental, kind of on purpose. It just seemed to work out even better in painting than it did in my uh, Photoshop sketch. And of course, we got kind of like this mirrored image with the bull and he's got the bull horns on his helmet here. He's in this really like jumping action pose ready to strike, but he has this cord attached to the bull ring here and it's like wrapping around his leg and coming up through here, you know? So like wherever he shoots his arrow, the bull's head will follow, but uh, you know, not before he trips up his own legs. Take your shot, but uh, be careful not to uh, wrap yourself up too much, you know? I think I have to call this one Bullseye. So, really jazzed about this piece. I'm super excited to put it in my solo show, Animal Instincts, my first ever show, gallery full of paintings. Everything at my solo show is available, including the G-Clay print, the t-shirt, and the original paintings. Go to ucox.com slash kipto and check out all the information over there. I'm super pumped about this new G-Clay print. If you guys missed out on the last smoke, make sure to cop this one. This is a brand new print, museum quality paper. It's 20 by 30, a big nice print on heavy archival paper. And it's from one of my paintings in the show called Balance. And I've been learning about um, the balance in the body, all the chakras, and also the feminine side and the masculine side. You know, the masculine side is the right side and the feminine side is the left side. So I have those each like that, holding up their own weight and this armor. And we have that strong, stoic lion face that I always like to paint. We have that badass bird on the bottom, lifting everyone up, making sure we're all still afloat, you know? And it's limited edition to 50 units only. So make sure to get it quick because it's gonna go fast. Head to this link here. It's also the link in the description. So make sure to cop that and let me know when you get it. That's all for now. I have one more big triptych I'm gonna be banging out before the show. <sighs> My ambitions are getting the best of me, but I'm really pumped about how I'm gonna tackle that piece. It's gonna be really exciting. It's gonna be like this kind of like raw, kind of energetic, kind of explosion, dynamic, kind of decorative piece. 
So something a little bit different, but still in the vein of all of these paintings. So stay tuned for that next episode. And as always, thank you for watching.